Welcome into this Ed's Extra Point. I'm Ed Lane. Put yourself in Jonathan Martin's shoes for a second and ask yourself, what would you have done if you were in his situation? I understand some of the feedback, including Courtney at the Edward Lane Facebook page, who has problems with the fact that Martin did not go to incognito man-to-man. -man. Certainly that's part of the football culture, to attack any problem face-to-face, man-to-man, and show no sign of weakness. But put yourself in Jonathan Martin's shoes for just a second. Generally, when you're doing that in a football locker room, you're thinking, my teammates have my back. I can trust them to back me up. If someone else on another team has an issue, I can go and trust my teammates. And if someone on the team has an issue with me, I can trust the internal leadership in my locker room to be strong enough, mature enough, and focused enough on the ultimate goals of team camaraderie, everyone being on the same page, and working toward the same goal. When you look at Jonathan Martin's particular situation with the Miami Dolphins, the fact that he went above the organization's head, that he seemed to feel like there was no one in the locker room who could help him resolve his issue. From Richie Incognito starting off with rookie hazing, which is understandable and part of the NFL culture, to continuing it well after the rookie season, including leaving voicemails, calling him the N-word, claiming he'd slap his mom, defecate in his mouth and on his face, that's stuff that's gotten way out of line. Guys naturally give each other a hard time, but that's over the top. And if you're in a well-oiled machine, a stable organization, you probably feel like you can go to somebody in your leadership structure if something's not going your way, and they'll be a leader and resolve the problem. If you want to blame anybody, don't blame Jonathan Martin for going above the Dolphins' heads. Blame the Miami Dolphins for having a culture that doesn't foster leadership in the locker room to where players feel like they can resolve the differences man-to-man, -man, and if that's not an option, going to the particular team leaders. Now that you think about it in that context, ask yourself again, what would you have done if you were Jonathan Martin? It might be a little more clear than you think. You too might have well gone to the NFL and said, I don't feel like there's anyone in the Dolphins that can help me with this, so I need your assistance. With this Ed's Extra Point, I'm Ed Lane.